from the American Forces Network Europe, Regional News Bureau. This is Primetime Europe. Hi, I'm Staff Sergeant John Archiquette, and I'm here in Slunia, Croatia for the Immediate Response 2012 exercise. Participants from six different Southeastern European nations are working together with the United States to enhance combat readiness as well as help build partnerships. In the hills outside Slunar, Croatia, six Southeastern European nations with a unique history join forces for Immediate Response 2012. This annual combat readiness exercise brought more than 700 soldiers together for realistic tactical training. We're doing situational training exercises where they will do a, a raid or a movement to contact. And then the second half of this exercise is battalion field training exercise where all of the different units get together and form a, a battalion minus and go out and actually train in the field. The intense two-week training saw six former Yugoslavian and regional partners working alongside their American counterparts, which provided realism for working in modern NATO-led operations, according to Serbian observer Major Serdan Ravivovic. This kind of training uh, allows uh, units uh, more or less realistic situation that will uh, uh, much improve their, their ability to conduct uh, operations in ongoing or some future NATO operations. Whether providing overwatch for Allied forces or boosting their partners to new levels, for many young soldiers, this exercise was their first opportunity to work alongside regional coalition forces. I think it's very good. We talk with our people, we exchange Facebook, so uh, I think it's very good. You see other equipment, you can hold other guns. Uh, I think it's brilliant. It's developing these relationships that is the real focus of immediate response, forging partnerships that extend beyond national borders. I mean, probably the majority of the participants in this exercise weren't even in kindergarten when the, the Balkan War took place. And so it's time to, to look forward, and, and I think that's what this exercise helps them to do. And while immediate response is helping to shape the future of the region, it's also a showcase of how far the partnership has come already. And no one would have imagined that we would work so closely with all of the partner nations in this region, and, and that they would be not security consumers, but actually s exporting security to other areas of the world that, that require help. I mean, we, this is a big success story and, and immediate response is, is proof of it. Another way that immediate response has been successful is the attention to realism in combat scenarios. Following all engagements, commanders review the training using some high-tech new tools. Red trip. The ability to make simulated war as realistic as possible has challenged commanders throughout history. Deployable Instrumentation System Europe, or DICE, has a solution. What DICE does is DICE provides GPS and radio communications for vehicles and personnel. Soldiers taking part in the immediate response exercise 2012 fight simulated engagements daily using the DICE system. Using lasers on their rifles and sensors attached to their vests and helmet, participants can kill or be killed in battle simulation. It's a, like a big laser tag we get to play. They have it also, so back and forth. We know when our vehicles are killed, if we shoot them or if they shoot us. But this is not just your typical laser tag. Every soldier and every vehicle that's in play during the exercise is actually being collecting all the data, all the environmental events, engagements, simulations, everything is consolidated into a data package that then gets turned and translated into a full multimedia AR playback. Pretty much the soldiers go out and play for five hours on the training area and they come back into our facility and we show them a movie, a 3D movie of what they just did out there uh, on, a, on a AAR. While the soldiers execute their tactics on the field, commanders are able to watch the action live, a critical tool according to training resource specialist Herschel Lester. A real good tool for the commanders because the commander can tell a squad to go this way or a squad to go that way to do this to accomplish the objective and the commander can see if his plan or her plan was good or not. 
and just like in any competition, referees are needed to keep the playing field even. The observer controllers, or OCs, are given the power to kill or injure any combatant, symbolizing the effects of artillery or other battlefield casualties. You can talk and you Their can tool, walk, but you can't the, the blue god gun. The, the god gun really has, uh, the, the play of the god gun is to kind of facilitate the, the event in the way that the, that the script was written. Oh, this is what uh, simulates is a, a kill. It automatically sends a signal to the, the gear, yeah, yeah. telling them that they got shot. And they got laid down, take the helmet off, the medic will uh, 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 render first aid. So for the soldiers of immediate response, the DICE system has made battle as realistic, yet safe, as possible. From the base camp to the hills overlooking the battlefield, another group of service members are putting their skills to the test at immediate response 2012. Threats, small arms fire, RPGs. Tech Sergeant Alex Truesdale is a Joint Terminal Attack Controller, or JTAC. Besides helping aerial units to safely and accurately put bombs on target, an essential part of his job is working with combined forces, whether it's the U.S. Army or any number of international allies. These airmen must work in a joint environment, both downrange and at exercises like immediate response 2012. We have uh, platoons from Montenegro, Bosnia, Slovenia, Croatia, all on one exercise trying to achieve one goal. And the uh, cross communication at times can be a little bit of an issue, but overall I think we've been able to persevere and uh, get through it pretty well. This international team of JTACs practice a simulated search and rescue mission, coordinating land and air forces over the dense Croatian landscape. But slogging through the woods wasn't the toughest challenge for this exercise. Cross communication skills are very important. Uh, we've seen it everywhere from Afghanistan to IR-12 and uh, being able to adjust to other countries' uh, procedures and then be able to integrate them into your own to accomplish a single mission. Well, I got uh, a lot of experience because we were integrated into other platoons and I had a chance to work with American JTEX and Croatian JTEX. So there is like uh, all, almost all our seniors and you get a lot of new experience from them and a lot of new things that you can do then. The coordination that is required for any successful international mission can be daunting. But from the Tactical Operations Center to the boots on the ground, JTACs have peace of mind knowing that no matter what country they're from approved one five zero zero or language they speak, they all wear the same patch. Two two zero. I'll copy. I mean the JTAC is a small community, world commu worldwide community, so we have to keep together. Uh, it's a pretty rewarding feeling just because uh, you can really help accomplish the mission. Uh, we try to be great assets to the Army or whoever we're working with. Uh, we just bring a lot of firepower to the fight and it, uh, it's pretty rewarding. And uh, Nickel, you're approved to push uh, to a JTAC call. So for Tech Sergeant Truesdale and the rest of the JTACs of immediate response, this exercise is another example of successful international partnership. A partnership that 20 years ago would have seemed nearly impossible. But as immediate response 2012 comes to an end and the results of over two weeks of hard work were on display, the most important skill wasn't something that could be measured by computers. Building trust among partners in, in this region is, is very important because it means that they're more likely to communicate openly and honestly with each other and, and work collectively on solving regional problems as opposed to independently and unsynchronized. Building trust is, is key to, to what we're doing here with immediate response. Thanks for watching this immediate response edition of Primetime Europe. I'm Air Force Staff Sergeant John Archiquette. Thanks for watching.